Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous session, we discuss about all types of testings with example. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next important topic that is verification versus validation. Let's start the session. Here, first we understand the example of verification and validation. Let's take an example of WhatsApp application. We all are familiar with the WhatsApp. Verification process means, are we implementing the software right? Means, after development of each and every feature, developer verify it. Whether they generate an accurate output or not, or whether the particular feature is developed as per the customer requirement or not. This is called as verification. See here, in this example, first, developer develop chatting functionality, then verify it. After that, they develop status functionality, then again perform verification on that. After that, they develop audio call functionality, then again verify it in this way. Means, after each and every feature of development, they perform the verification. Now, on the opposite of that, there is a validation process. Validation means, are we implemented the right software? Means, after complete development of WhatsApp product, validation process is performed. They validate a complete developed product at the same time. They validate or test uh, all the features like chatting, status, audio call, video call, all this functionality at the same time. So this is called as validation. Now see here there is a difference between verification and validation. As per your exam point of view, this is one of the most important question. So verification first perform and after that validation is performed. Verification is known as static testing because they only focus on requirements of the customers. Validation is known as dynamic testing because your tester generate different types of test cases, positive test cases, negative test cases regarding a particular product. Verification performed by quality assurance team or developers and validation is performed by testing team. In verification, developer verify documents, design, code, and program of particular product. But in validation, they test and validate actual product. They test that expected outcome of particular product will be generated or not. Verification mostly focus on specification and features of particular product. But in validation, here tester focus on whether a particular software meet the customer requirements, expectation or need of the customer or not. Verification process does not involve any executing the code. They just verify the requirements. But in validation, they involve executing the code. They execute your complete program and check the output of your product. Now, in verification, developer find out bugs at early stage because they perform on each and every features. If there are any errors, developer easily fix those errors. Whatever the errors are not found out in verification process, these errors are found out at validation process. In verification process, there are different methods like inspection, reviews, walkthroughs. In particular project, there are some senior managers or experienced developer is there, team lead is there, right? So all these persons review a particular product, whether it is developed as per the customer requirement or not. But in validation test, process, there are different types of testing is performed like functional testing, system testing, integration testing, user acceptance testing is performed. Basically, in verification process, developer verify that input follows a particular output or not as per the requirement. But in validation process, here tester validate that user accept a particular product or not. So this is a basic difference between verification and validation. Now, as per your exam point of view, the difference between verification and validation in detail for 8 marks, this is one of the most important question. At that time, you have to mention maximum 8 points in your difference. So, thank you. Keep learning.